So, <laughs> my week has been a little bit a uh, full, to say the least. Um, there's been a lot of personal stuff that I've had to sew up. Um, you know, yeah, keeping friendships together, that sort of thing. Like, um, trying to uh, get as much like background shit done as possible. I recorded a vlog, and I still haven't uploaded that. I'll probably upload two videos uh, tomorrow, um, in addition to the Agoras Nexus podcast, which was supposed to be uploaded and posted yesterday, and the article for it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I've been sort of working on the uh, the hosting for that, um, and uh, the the two episodes that we've done so far have been myself and Dag. Tomorrow morning will not be that. Um, because he's got some stuff to do. Um, and it, it'll either be tomorrow morning or it'll be uh, Saturday that I record. But we already have an episode in the chamber, and all I need to do is vlog, uh, edit that. You know, I need to, like, make it... I need to make it uh, uh, streamlined. It's essentially, like, there's some, there's some stuff that you want to get out of... Um, the vlog mode, the sort of more, like, informal thing, because uh, this is going to be part of, like, a podcast feed. Uh, so, like, we we edit it a bit, like, to remove some of the really rough parts. So I'm going to be doing that, and it'll also have, like, you know, flashy text and all that. But, like, yeah, that's coming. Like, today was <laughs> getting a chair so that my spine isn't being damaged. It already feels healthier than either the previous chair or the uh, kitchen chair that I've been sitting in for weeks um, and trying to maintain some lump, some level of, you know, uh, comfort and or not breaking bones. Uh, but basically, uh, yeah, it's it's been busy and I got all this shit that you can see over here from... Goodwill today and this chair, so you can go find out that stuff um, at the tweet link in the description. But the point um, of bringing all that up was to say that there will be more regular content coming up, uh, because I don't think I'll be dealing with all this stuff on this regular basis. Um, but either way, there will be lots more coming, and that's good news if you like what I'm about to say. That if you supported Hillary Clinton, Clinton, or if you support her at all these days, you have no business saying people shouldn't be uh, celebrating a death. Queen Elizabeth died, and I'll probably be making one of my first serious essays on my really like strong, like highly polished video content channel that I'm making, um, about. What a bitch she was. What a fucking cunt she was. Um, because she and everybody she was surrounded by was at least some shade of awful. And her family sucks. Um, it, it, you can't Google Queen Elizabeth and Epstein without coming up with the fact that <laughs> Prince Andrew, Duke of York... Uh, was interviewed by Emily, uh, my my teeth, my my lease. I don't mateless. I don't fucking care uh, about the relationship with the American convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. Andrew's response in the interview received negative reactions from both the media and the public. Um, so that's the Queen's son. Um, and he was born, uh. February 19th, 1960, at the time of his birth, this is from Town and Country Mag, the first one was from Wikipedia, at the time of his birth, he was second in line to the throne behind his older brother, Prince Charles, but before his older sister, Prince Anne, or Princess Anne. His older sister is not trans. Um, unless she is, and she just hasn't spoken her truth yet. We, we will see, you know? 
now he's ninth in the order of secession, uh, following the arrival of Harry and uh, Meghan's son Archie and their daughter Lily. So basically, uh, a member of the royal family, directly just the queen's son, and I believe direct heir, uh, is a fucking pedo sympathizer who was palling around with Epstein. And the queen? She's a colonizer. And she also knighted Tony Blair um, so that they could go, like, happily run around and, like, fucking cover, like, throw the rug on the war crimes in the Middle East and the invasions and the unnecessary deaths in Iraq. And it's no better just because she's the queen. And, you know, I, I see it a lot. I see a lot. A lot! Way too fucking much the fact that, oh, she she has no power. She's just a figurehead. That makes it worse. It's fucking worse because of that. That makes it worse that she has no power, um, yet she's considered a monarch and the figurehead of the country. Shouldn't the figurehead have power? Isn't that what they're for? Oh, no, they're just for representation uh, of the culture and whatever, and they can rubber stamp things. Well, then she's fucking complicit. So when people say, oh, she has no power, blah, 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 then, you know, I don't fucking care. I don't care that she allegedly has no power. It doesn't fucking matter to me. Because, A, without that rubber stamp, how's she gonna do shit? And B, if all she is is a figurehead, then how is she a fucking queen? If it's if it's if it's fucking nothing more than a title, then she's just the like every one of us, except she got to get old and fat and fucking um you know all this fucking tr good treatment and wealth and prosperity. Because she acted as a figurehead. That's not better. It's competitively bad to worse. Because it means that she's yet another example of the common person not being able to recommend or uh, not being able to represent themselves or, or recommend any changes in any meaningful way. Like, that's not good. It's not good to have uh, a representative monarchy where the representatives aren't fucking in control of anything and where the representatives aren't voted in. If it's just the royal family, if there's some sort of parliament thing that controls, like, literally everything about the country, allegedly, that you have to vote in, then the queen is just a spoiled chick... Who died? Who gives a fuck? Why do I care if she has no power? And if she does, why should I not be smiling? Um, and the reason I said if you support Hillary Clinton, you can't uh, be uh, upset, upset about people mocking this. We came, we saw, he died. <laughs> You know, that's what she said about her killing a world leader. It's okay when they do it. It's okay when they not only kill world leaders, but laugh about it. But it's not okay to do it with the queen. Okay. You know, shove your civility and tone policing up your ass. I don't care. Um, so, the powerful regularly and routinely rely on evil methods of control. That's what they do. They rely on evil methods of control. And to say that 
because she's the queen, she gets a pass. If anything, her being the queen means she should be treated with more seriousness when she commits a crime or when she authorizes a crime to be committed. But no, because that's not how the fucking system works. And this lays that bare. That you're not allowed to say shit when a fucking royal person dies. No matter what they did, you're not allowed to say shit negative about them. It's, it's, it's so aggravating that we're not allowed to hold them to the same level that they hold us. Or even to other world leaders. Because if that's the level we're on, where Hillary got to be like a, a puppeteer behind a significant amount of shit that went down, and where, you know, later on, Bernie gets the shaft, and Time Magazine admits that there was then, uh, after he, uh, Trump became president, a concerted effort by the media to remove him. If it's okay when you do it, it's okay when we do it. Get the fuck over it. Holy shit. It's, it's, it's endlessly fucking irritating when the state relies on evil and unethical means by, by default and we get a little uppity and get shut down. No. No. That shouldn't be how it is. If anything, it should be the opposite. The state, which claims the ability to have all this extra power over us, should be super capable of properly fucking wielding it. And if they're not going to wield it in a way which they would demand that we speak, then they should shut the fuck up and quit. But they won't do that because they're a fundamentally unethical and evil institution. And somehow if I make a joke about one of them dying, I'm the bad guy? You should hear the sense of humor troops and, uh, mili and intelligence people have. You should hear that. Because the people you revere, the people who you rely on for your government... Those people laugh about this shit all the fucking time and are often the reason world leaders die. It's lunacy to think that it's different now or because of the person doing it. This, this country is ruled by people who go to a secluded forest location every year and fucking burn an effigy of a child. You know, and and that's just to say something that won't get my uh, my YouTube banned because it's totally not a real child. Trust him. So, these people get to ghoulishly celebrate death on the daily. And she gets to live, like, fat and easy off fucking nothing if she has no power, and evil if she does. And if people make some fucking jokes about it, they're the bad guys? Fucking no. In no uncertain terms, that is bullshit. That is contassery. It's vapid, asinine, obsequious garbage. So that's my statement, you know? Um, I'll say more on her legacy, obviously, but yeah. If somebody gets a job with the aggressors, it's okay to laugh when they lose. You know, and the, the only unfortunate thing is that it didn't happen sooner. Because, you know, and, and I'm talking like with every one of these leaders. 
these rulers, these archons, because they make people die every fucking day and then have, have the audacity to browbeat us about making some jokes. I'm pretty sure being the reason the triggers are being pulled is a little bit fucking worse than making jokes about death. Play statist games, win statist prizes. If you don't want to be treated like an overlord, get out of the overlord job. Because it's in the fucking job description. And if you can't handle the proles making some fucking jokes about you, then stop creating a class of proles who need to smash the fucking state.